Greetings, you're watching Automotive Territory. When a car is passing by, sure, the first thing you're gonna look at is the exterior, but seasoned drivers always say you drive on the inside of a car, not on its hood, so the practical, comfortable and tech-advanced interior is a must-have for a true driver's car. In this episode, we'll show you automobiles that have the best interiors in various price segments, from the most affordable ones and all the way to luxury models. But before we show you the lineup, subscribe to our channel and ring the notification bell to get alerted when the new episodes come out. Enjoy the ride! Infiniti QX50 Like it has been expected, the all-new 2019 QX50 is almost identical to the concept that was presented in early 2017. The crossover will be constructed on the new front drive platform with a revolutionary Nissan 2.0-liter turbo gasoline engine with variable compression. The manufacturer claims that this engine unit is as efficient as a diesel but as performance charged as a gasoline. The driver will be assisted with a continuously variable transmission and semi-automatic driving system ProPilot. Among the exterior design additions, we have to highlight deep air intakes, a unique grill, sharp headlights, tall bumper and an enormous Infiniti logo. The Infiniti QX50 is wider, taller and roomier than its predecessor has enough room in the back for three golf bags or a stroller and 32 to 60 cubic feet storage. Volkswagen Jetta 2019 Volkswagen Jetta is now bigger and roomier than ever. Based on VW's MQB platform, the updated model is 1.3 inches longer than the one from the last year. The extension translated into more mobile electronics and console storage space inside the car. With a starting price of $18,545, the 2019 model is also 100 bucks cheaper. It is brought into motion by an exclusive 1.4-liter turbocharged inline four-cylinder engine with 147 horsepower. By default, the lowest trims of this vehicle come with a 6-speed stick, but there is another option, which is an 8-speed automatic. As any other VW car, Jetta has a transferable 6 years or 72,000 miles warranty and a variety of safety features. The standard center screen has a 6.5 inch, which is just enough for the affordable segment. However, if you're ready to pay extra, the 8 inch touchscreen navigation and a 10 inch high resolution Volkswagen digital cockpit will definitely blow you away. Ford Expedition The 2018 Expedition is a full size body on frame SUV, the largest in the Ford's lineup. It is available in short wheelbase and extended length max version, which is almost a foot longer and can store 16.9 cubic feet of extra cargo. With 3.5 liter Ecobus engine good for 400 horses and 480 pound feet of torque, the car can boast of 9200 pound towing capacity. A 10 speed automatic transmission with tow haul mode distributes power to help ensure maximum traction and a great ride on any road. All in all, there are six available trims kicking off from the base XLT, costing $51,790, and going up all the way to the Platinum Max, which is close to $76,000. The seven-seater has more legroom for the second and third rows than Tahoe and Yukon, and surrounds you with all the high-tech you might desire. Wireless charger, 50-feet Wi-Fi hotspot, screens for the second-row passengers, B&O Play premium audio system, and full smartphone connectivity. Toyota Camry By many accounts, Camry, which has been completely redesigned in 2018, is heading the list of the mid-sized cars of the year. It scores a 5-star rating from an HTSA and has a top safety pick plus rating from the Institute of Highway Safety. With enough cabin room for up to 5 adults or 2 adults and 2 car seats for the kids in the rear, Camry is a solid choice for families. Its cockpit boasts of excellent visibility for the driver, soft touch interior materials, and lots of additional finishes. And the cabin is driver-centered due to the perfectly located wheel controls and convenient console that consists from an 8-inch multimedia touchscreen. With a new 3.0 Antune app and a customizable home screen, a 10-inch head-up system and an extra 7-inch multi-information display. It has optional push-button start, keyless entry system, 8 ways adjustable driver's seat, dual-zone climate control and ventilated rear seats. The 2018 Camry is sold in two IC options and one hybrid version. 
Lincoln MKC Hybrid The Lincoln is a luxury sedan with a conservative fuel and good fuel consumption. In the city, it can go for 41 miles on a gallon of gas, and on the highway, this number drops to 38. Under the hood, it hides a Ford Fusion platform and a 2.0-liter inline 4 paired with an electric motor. In the 2018 model here, the car is mostly unchanged and is still available in four trim levels – Premier, Select, Reserve and Black Label. The only update is four new exterior color options that were added to the lineup's palette. The entry price this year reaches $36,605. On the lower trims, the interior is a little thrifty for a luxury sedan, but it is much better on the higher trims, especially the black label. Unfortunately, on this car, most safety and driver assistance features are not standard, so with them the price tag can easily hit the $50,000 mark. Kia Forte The new body of the 2019 Forte is 3.2 inches longer, resulting in additional legroom for rear seat passengers and more baggage space in the trunk. Featuring stingerish headlights and tiger nose grille, the vehicle also has more aggressive styling and sporty look. New Forte's powertrain is slightly modified, but the output of 147 horsepower and the torque of 132 pound-feet remains unchanged. The base 2.0-liter Atkinson cycle inline four-cylinder engine is paired with either a standard six-speed manual transmission or Kia's first exclusive CVT, dubbed Intelligent Variable Transmission. The car will offer a number of safety features, such as lane assist, adaptive cruise control and collision warning, that are now considered a must-have. Like all of the Kia models, this 40 comes with an industry-exclusive 10-year or 100,000 miles limited warranty. BMW X5 As it was expected, the manufacturer wanted to underline the performance nature of this SUV, so the exterior design was updated to express more aggression and athleticism with its sweeping roofline, larger than the world nostrils and air intakes, and sharp headlights which are now LED as a standard. On the inside, this automobile is as practical and luxurious as they get, the boot could be completely flattened out, and the cargo volume reaches 23 to 65 cubic feet depending on the seat's layout. The interior is all leather, with contrast stitching on all trims, while the M versions add sports seats, sports steering wheel and aluminum pieces. The infotainment is represented by two 12-inch displays with BMW's in-house developed operation system that could be controlled with touch, voice commands, gestures or using BMW's fixed ice control system. The Afford engines are a newly developed V8 gasoline with 462 horsepower, which won't be available in Europe, 6-cylinder inline gasoline with 340 horsepower, and 2-6-cylinder inline diesel engines with 265 and 400 horses. Thanks for being with us until now. Just a reminder that we have lots of automotive content that might interest you. We're gonna leave links in the description, info cards and end screens. So don't miss out and watch more after this episode. Let's keep rolling! Chevrolet Equinox First announced in 2016, the new generation Equinox is packed with convenience and safety technologies, offering a dependable and comfortable ride. The main additions include a rear-view camera, forward collision alert, low-speed automatic braking and parking assistance. The car comes in three engine options, a base 1.5-liter four-cylinder gasoline and a 1.6-liter turbo diesel inline 4 paired with a six-speed automatic gearbox. Or there is also a larger 2.0-liter four-cylinder gasoline with a nine-speed automatic. This compact SUV is available in four trim levels – L, LS, LT and Premier. The interior is built using smooth-to-the-touch fabrics and quality materials to make you feel right at home. All trims feature standard 7-inch Chevrolet Myling infotainment system with 6 audio speakers, Android Auto and Apple CarPlay compatibility, keyless entry and start, plus USB, Bluetooth and OnStar 4G LTE connectivity. Equinox also offers lots of cargo space, varying from 29.9 to 63.5 cubic feet with folded rear seats. Genesis G90 and G80 the 2018 G90 is the first attempt of Hyundai's luxury brand to create a truly luxury sedan. Three rear-wheel driving engines are available, including a 3.8-liter V6 that makes 308 horses, 
3.3 liter turbo V6 with 370 and 5.0 liter V8 with 413 horsepower. What is notable right away is that only a few options are available, while almost any other high-end feature comes as a standard. Driver's seat is 22-way adjustable, front passenger gets 16 ways adjustability, while the rear just 12 to 14. What a shame! Every single seat is heated, ventilated and covered with Nappa leather, while the rest of the interior gets genuine wood elements. The infotainment is represented by a 12.3-inch central screen, 7.0-inch information display and a head-up display. However, if G90 is too big and luxurious for you, you can opt for a mid-size Genesis G80. You can expect to save almost $20,000 but it will still be treated with top-notch safety, premium interior and expensive exterior looks. Mercedes A-Class The exterior of the new Mercedes A-Class looks sleeker and more aggressive, with a massive grille, narrower front and rear lights and smooth body panels. Since it is somewhat longer and wider, it is noticeably roomier on the inside. And though the car has improved in many aspects, the interior design still manages to steal the show. The dashboard consists of two 7-inch screens as a standard, with intuitive steering wheel, touchscreen or touchpad controls. All the trims have access to the optional adaptive suspension to smoothen the ride, and the car feels more energetic in general. Available powertrains include new 1.3 and 2.0-liter gasoline for cylinders and a 1.5 diesel with 163 224 and 115 horsepower output respectively. At the moment, a 7G DCT dual clutch transmission is a standard, but manual options are also in the making. Hyundai Kona Electric This year, Hyundai's already successful and elegant Ionic Electric is being joined by the world's first affordable electric crossover, Hyundai Kona Electric. It will be released in two modifications. The less pricey one gets a 135 horsepower motor and a 39.2 kWh battery, sufficient for 150 miles on a charge, while the top trim offers 204 horses output and 250 miles of uninterrupted driving. With 291 pound feet of immediate torque and acceleration of 7.6 seconds from 0 to 60 mph, the top trim of the all new Kona Electric provides a real fun to drive experience. The electrified version received an updated design with closed front grille, aerodynamic bumper, exclusive LED lighting and seven variants of body colors. The interior packaging is by no means jeopardized by the electric nature of the car. There is plenty of room, heated front seats and steering wheel, optional full leather upholstery, Apple and Android compatible 7 to 8 inch infotainment and head-up display. Kia Stinger Kia Stinger is one of the few sensations of the 2018 model year that unexpectedly took the sports sedan segment by storm. And in the GT modification, it managed to challenge the giants like Porsche Panamera and BMW 5 Series. The typical Kia Tiger nose is elongated to give the car a more aggressive, sporty look, and four exhaust pipes at the rear with bright LED headlights are a perfect finish for a stylish exterior. The more ground-to-earth trims, standard and premium, are equipped with turbocharged 2.0-liter four-cylinder engines, while GT models get a 365-horsepower 3.3-liter twin-turbo V6. The base package includes Android and Apple connectivity, advanced Harman Kardon audio system and heated front seats. The pricing for a new Stinger starts at $31,900 and goes all the way up to $49,200 for the GT2 trim that gets Napa leather interior head-up display and advanced driver assistance features. Some people would say that 50 grand for a Kia is nonsense, but believe us, very few drivers who had dared to spend their cash on the sports sedan regretted the decision. Do you agree with us that comfortable interior is a must-have for a car? What are the most important details that you pay attention to in the interior? Share with us in the comments and put a like under this video. If you subscribe, you will get a chance to watch more informative videos like this one. The links to the new episodes are on the screen. May the torque be with you!